Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another Let's Play Some Edits. As you can see, I don't have my gamepad viewer up right now because I have a special surprise for you guys. That's right. Oh, wait for it. You get up. Okay, there we go. We are gonna do my webcam for today's episode because the uh, edit you may have saw that I most recently played, Miss Fortune. I uh, had a I think one or two people, I think. One is the, uh, with a actual camera instead of just some virtual remote. So here it is. I'll do my best, as you can see. I got my PS4 controller. The perfect that I did with Misfortune was with a PS3 controller. But it doesn't really matter. I only uh, got the perfect with the PS3 controller because... Uh, the star part at the end, like the, these joysticks, I don't know, they just they just hate my uh, Bratcher Diva F second game, man. It won't cooperate with me. I kept getting saves. So then I uh, switched to the PS3 controller, and then what do you know? First time I get to that star part again, I I, I nailed it <laughs> with the PS3 controller. But this is just a let's play, so whatever. We're not gonna go for a perfect. I'll just do my best here. You get that general idea. Now this song, apart from the beginning, which just takes a, a bit of practice, all the triplets have a pattern, obviously. Um, pattern is not too... I think there's like, one, two, three, four... Okay, I think there's like six, six different types of triples. So, as long as you memorize your muscle memory on those six types of uh, triplets, Plus you uh, nail the the intro, then it's not so bad. Obviously, not everybody is. Everybody has different learning paces. Some people will take a lot longer to do that, but that's uh, how I kind of broke down this song. All right, here we go. Misfortune. I usually don't play on my desk like this uh, when I like get serious, but. This is the only way I can really show my hand cam uh, clearly. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't affect it too much. This is also how I always uh, stream on my Twitch, uh, playing on my desk like this. Normally I play on my lap if it's uh, like a more serious uh, gameplay that I'm trying to do. <clears throat> so that's probably why I play worse on Twitch. <laughs> I'm not making excuses. It's real legit, okay? Just got back from work, so hold on here. I got this. I really recommend if you're gonna play or go into edit plays to play with the button noises. Without the button noises, you cannot tell when you're spamming these uh, string of notes. Just like how steady or unsteady um, your alternating is. I know some people play with no button noises, but when you do that, you can't tell at all whether or not your spamming is consistent. Obviously for this intro part, that was a lot more difficult, but I'm talking about like the other edits where it's just a string of uh, the same type of notes, or even triplets. You can tell if you have the blind noise on. Sorry if I don't talk too much during this run, because kinda need to 
concentrate. <laughs> This is not one of the easier edits. Really? <laughs> wow, I would get the star part when it doesn't matter. <laughs> what great misfortune. <laughs> oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I already got my perfect. Alright, there we go. Misfortune. There it is. Hopefully my uh, ham cam was on the right angle. I couldn't really tell while I was playing. But like I was saying, I really recommend that you play with button noises if you want to play the harder stuff. Because even when you do the triplets, right? Like, boom, boom, boom. You, you can technically do it inconsistently, so like, it's not quite the same rhythm. But you'll still uh, squeak by with, uh, without breaking your combo. But unless you can hear the button noises, you'll never be able to know. If you actually need some more uh, practice with that or not, like me, I can tell uh, during the beginning intro part of the piano, you can tell it's not very consistent. So I'm getting it, but that's why I was getting a lot of fines. It was like on the verge of getting safe for some parts. I knew uh, my thumbs are too weak. I gotta gotta train it some more. Anyways, let's one. We'll try another one here. My P name song. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm gonna get destroyed in this one. So, it says I only have two plays on this one, but that's uh, that's false. I played this so many times back then. What I did was I uh, nerfed the intro part a little bit. Uh, so you can say this is the, the nerf version of, let's say, the P names. What I would do is I would use my little mini gamepad just to do the intro part, because they, they're basically all arrows. Uh, my thumbs is not fast enough to do it both sides, so I would just bring up the gamepad. But whatever, I don't think I'll, I'll ever get perfect. My uh, I had my chance back then and I blew it. Now I can't even get close. <clears throat> this is uh basically sped up. If you're not 
or if you can't tell, I know they all sound really fast. The original version is 180 BPM, and this one's a 207 BPM. So I would play this like non-stop all the time back then. Couldn't get the perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I nerfed it, I still can't get it. Don't screw me, stars. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I'm tired, man. Oh. <laughs> right on the line. Oh my god. It's a lot harder playing like this. Uh, when you're playing on the lap, you can kind of use your arm strength to do it, but... It goes both ways, I would say. See, even though I'm having a harder time playing these harder edits but on my desk for the hand cam, you can't tell, but basically my arms is literally like on my desk like this when I'm playing it. So I can't really use my arms to help. But thanks to that, it's kind of like when you go work out and you're basically picking the heavier weights so your hands get used to it. That way, when you, when you do uh, play and you're able to use your arms to assist you, then you can go even longer longer, harder, faster. Ugh. 
but uh, I haven't been playing as much as uh, back then when I had more free time. So I can't compete stamina wise with my 2015 self. That's why if you look, except for Spammeister, because I was just trying so hard over that one. Every single other song that I uh, was dueling against, pretty much all the songs that was like uh, high stamina, I lost. I only won in the more technical songs. <laughs> Since now my left thumb is actually uh, smarter now, when back then it couldn't. Alright, well, might as well finish this Let's Play here with the last spammy song here. Where is it? Not that one. Here it is, the good old Rin song. 272 BPM. Uh, one of these days, if I can find the time, now that I have better knowledge of, uh, notes, especially, uh, I'm not just re relying on my right thumb like back then, I'll try and rework some of these, uh, charts that I have, because I know, like for this one, some of the notes are off. But nevertheless, I still find it fun to play. The songs by Utsup. I don't know if you heard of them, but Utsup is like one of the songs that I love making edits for because they're so hardcore, basically. <laughs> and these are the kind of songs that you want to play if you uh, need to wake up. Not like fucking yellow or packaged. Who the hell plays that for fun? <laughs> All right, here we go. Ugh! Oh. Alright, let's stay on Get all the spams when they have to text them. Uh.
That was the last hard part for <laughs> spam part in this song. Oh, I got my back so sweaty. <laughs> Excellent, this one. Thanks, Rin. Don't you guys miss that? The people that only play Future Tone. You don't get the Vocaloids telling you how what a great job you've done. Even when you've done shit, they're just like, yeah, excellent, great. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm probably not gonna play these uh, hardcore edits for quite a while. I need a break. I'm getting old. <laughs> And look forward to my future tone uh, sometime this week uh, for the Let's Play, or Let's Perfect, I should say. I'm supposed to get perfect in the future tone songs. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention, if you guys want to see me stream, I always stream the same two days. It's Tuesdays and Thursdays at night. I know it sucks. You either have to go to school the next day or you work, but that's just my stream days. Sorry about that. Totally not selling out here. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.